Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Quick video for y'all today. I've always wanted a parts cleaner in the garage and now I have the 318 that I'm working on rebuilding and I just need something to clean parts with. Came up with a little idea I want to show you guys. Bought this little container here for about six bucks. Two days ago, this was brand new. I put in about a third of a gallon of super clean and about two gallons of water. And also bought this little brush from the kitchen area of Walmart, but made me a little mix. I've been cleaning parts and it's working great. So let me show you a little bit of video. So yesterday I dropped in the six pistons. Could only fit six in my bucket here. And I just wanna show you the outcome. What I did was about every 30 minutes, I'd give it a little scrub for the first hour or two. So gave it three or four scrubs and then let it sit overnight. And then I just hit it again with my little scrub brush here. And that's the outcome. I'm super happy with that. You can see there's just a tad bit more on there that I could get off. And then this is how they began. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these other two. I'm going to take those out, stick these two in there, bring you guys back tomorrow. Also wanted to note, you can see where the rod was sitting in there, how it got cleaned. Not too worried about the rods, but you can see a perfect line where it cleaned that rod as well. You can see how clean these pistons are. There you go. See you all tomorrow. Quick update just to show you how this stuff is working. We're about an hour in maybe, and I scrubbed it a little bit with my, my little dish brush there. That's, just, that's literally a kitchen brush from Walmart. It's got quite a bit coming off the top and the sides are getting pretty clean pretty quick. There's that one. That one's not quite as good, but still coming clean quick. All right, this stuff has been sitting overnight. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon. Put it in here about six last night. No scrubbing today. You can see how clean that thing got. So I have my little scrub brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub these up. Let's see how this one looks. That one's pretty good too. I'm gonna finish scrubbing these things up. And also this piece, I did just knock a little bit off of it, but it's getting cleaner. But as soon as I get these two pistons out of here, I can get that piece in more. Okay, so basically 24 hours of soaking and a little bit of scrubbing does everything I want it to do. Look at these pistons. This is this is great. I'm I'm, ha I'm super happy with this. All the ring lands are pretty much clean. See a little carbon in the top ring there. Tops are clean. And I'll try to put in a little video from the other day when these were all dirty. But look at that. That's gonna be plenty good for our little garage rebuild. I'm very happy with that. Now you can see on the rod, there's a line where it was soaking. If I would've turned these over, had a bigger container, I could've soaked these, got it all clean. So, super happy with that. Something else here. Here's our 360 piston from our 360, obviously. The dish here, last night, I put it in the vise and I filled it full of seafoam. So here's some seafoam right here. I filled that dish up and you can see where it's lighter right there. I just kind of rubbed my finger on it while it was soaking and uh, just didn't do much. So seafoam for fuel injection cleaning, I agree with it. I think it works great. But um, as far as getting the carbon off the top of the piston, not sure I'm sold on it. That was soaking in straight seafoam. Well, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Something I was testing out and it worked out really good for me. 
The dump is across the street, about a mile away, so I have a safe place to dump that. It all cost me less than $20. I'm super excited. Um, last few weekends been getting rained out from Test and Tune, so we're gonna try again Sunday. But uh, I'm gonna go out driving Mr. Jones a little bit, try to do some street tuning. But uh, hopefully Sunday we'll finally get to Test and Tune. It's gonna be eighth mile. That's the only thing that's gonna be open. So we'll give it a try. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.